Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we are going to create a radiator family in Revit. I'm going to go with a new family template. English is good. Maybe I'll start from a face-based family. So I'm going to go with metric generic model face-based, this one. I'll hit open. Then in this family, I'm going to change the category and parameters into mechanical equipment, which is this one. Okay. So this should be good. I'll go to my reference level. Uh, I would like to create a parameter for the length. So I'm going to type RP uh, offset, let's say, for instance, 500 millimeters to left and right. I'll hit escape. If I check the units, it's on millimeters. That's good. Uh, I'm going to go with DI from here to here to here is going to be equal. Uh, these reference plates, I would like to name them as left and right. Then I want to get this total. And this one is going to be a parameter. And it should be an instance type because each of the radiator might, might have a different length. I'm going to name it length. Let's hit OK. I'm going to have another reference plane, RP. Uh, and it's going to be 76 millimeters up. I'm going to hit escape, type DI, grab this dimension, and I want to lock it. This is where the pipe would go. And it's always going to be 76 millimeters above the bottom of the uh, radiator. And on the each side of these two reference plane, I'm going to go with RP. Uh, pick a plane and offset by 51 millimeters to left and right, here and here. And these two dimensions, which need to be light because they are fixed values, this is how much the pipe is going to exceed the edge of the radiator. Let's save the family. I'm going to save it as radiator with one backup. Uh, I know the total uh, height of it is 279, so I'm going to go with RP, draw by 279 offset. I'm going to draw a line here, hit escape, DI, and this 279 is also going to be a fixed value, so I can lock it. Maybe I can name this reference plane pipe center line. That's good, and this one is just the top of the radiator. That's good. I'm going to go to my left view here, and this is going to be drawing in this area. I'm going to draw a few more reference plane, RP, draw. I'm going to offset by 111. This is kind of the depth of the radiator. And on this end of it, I'm going to go with one more RP. Uh, and on the shorter side, on the top, it's only 52 millimeters, so I'm going to draw another reference plane here. Hit escape DI. I can grab this number and lock it, and I can grab this number and lock it. One other reference plane I need is around here. I'm going to go with RP, uh, draw a line, and it's 141 to the left side of here. I'm going to get the dimension DI. And this also can be locked. So the radiator is around this area. I'm going to go to my reference level. So I'll go with create, set, pick a plane. I'm going to pick the left reference plane. Then I'm going to go to the left view. And I'll just draw an extrusion by picking lines here, this one, here, here. And I need to draw one line from this edge to this edge. Let's trim all the edges, so this is the body of the radiator. I'm going to check and finish edit mode on the reference level. We need to lock the right side to this reference plane, so I'm going to move it here and lock it. So this is how it's going to look like. Uh, one other thing we need. Uh, we are going to need a pipe. I'm going to have the pipe start from here, so I'll go with create. I'm going to go with uh, set, pick a plane, pick this plane, and I'm going to go to left view. And maybe I can align it somewhere around here. 
so this is the reference plane for the pipe center line so around here is where the pipe goes i'll go with create extrusion and i'm gonna draw uh, maybe a circle maybe with a radius of uh, 15 should be good i'm gonna finish edit mode and on reference level we're gonna lock it here so al select the reference plane select this edge and lock it now I'm going to go back to the left view, grab this extrusion, and I'm going to go to edit extrusion. And we need one more parameter for the radius here. So I'll go with di for dimension. I'm going to change it to radial, grab this radial dimension, which says 15. And I'm going to select this and uh, turn it into a parameter by hitting create parameter. And I want to say this is my connector underline radius so this looks good I'll hit OK I'm gonna finish edit mode uh, see in reference level feel free to change the links and uh, they should respond so that's good I'm gonna go back to 1000 uh, one last thing we need is some connectors I need to go with create pipe connector Maybe I'll change this to use radius and I'm going to put it on this face here. Also on the other end, I'm going to grab and put it on this face. Hit escape, both of these two. For the radius, I want to assign the same radius as the connector radius. So this now looks better. And the type of it, system classification is hydronic supply, which works well for the radiator. Uh, feel free if you want to assign a material to the radiator. Maybe I can select and uh, to the material, I'll associate it with a family parameter and new parameter. And I'm going to name it material underline radiator. So if the user in the file wants to go with a different color, that's good. I'll leave it as type, hit OK, hit OK, and this is our radiator. Now let's load this into a project. Uh, in the project, I need to create some work sets, so I'm going to go with uh, collaborate work sets. I'll hit OK here. Uh, I'm going to need a few work sets, I'll hit new. One of them is going to be uh, M levels, so that's where my mechanical levels go. Visible in all views, yeah, that's good. I'll hit a new one. I need um, equipment, that's where the radiator would go. A new one for all the pipings. And one last one for all the ducts. Okay, uh, I'm going to actually make my uh, equipment work layer the active one. I'm in the plumbing. That's good. I'm going to go to the family, load it into project, and I want to place it here. But now it's not putting it on the right host. Uh, maybe I can draw a section here so I can easily uh, see this face in a section, the face of the wall. Uh, before doing that, the section doesn't need to be on the equipment uh, work set. I'm just going to go with work set 1, draw my section, so I'll go with view, section. I'm going to flip this so I can see this wall. Uh, I'm going to close in active views. I can close the family as well. And I want to go to the section, I'm going to use WT to see both views at one time. So around here is where the radiator goes. Now I'll go with architecture, set, pick a plane. I'm going to pick the edge of uh, this wall. And I'm going to go to my section 1. And I'll go with component. Uh, and I'm going to put that radiator around here. I can set its location. For instance, elevation from level, maybe 0 0.019 should be good. I want it to actually be 
uh, and the living room area so you want it to be around here uh, see that in the other videos we have linked the architecture model so this is the architecture model but this radiator here that we set this is in our mechanical model and it's under mechanical equipment i forgot to change the work set back uh, you can select the radiator change it back to um, equipment and i can also go back to my collaborate and make the equipment my active work set feel free to select the radiator i know the size of the length for this one is 1.36 so let's assign it and for all the types here for the connector radius is 0 0.0125 which is 12 and a half uh, centimeters for the radius so this should be good uh, one other thing i want to do i'm going to go to my uh, south elevation for a second, I want to type HH and hide the mechanical model and hide the copy monitored links. Uh, I want to select these two and move them to M levels. So uh, later, if I want to filter some stuff, this is going to be helpful. And these four levels, they're also on shared level and grid work set. So that's good. For the linked Revit model, I, I might leave it on work set one later maybe i'll make a new work set for it i'm going to type hh for these uh, copy monitored levels they are on shared levels and grids which is good it makes sense and see that they are being copy monitored if you don't want them to be copy monitored we can always stop monitoring uh, you can see the other video to see what copy monitor is and what it does if you want to take a look at that radiator along with the linked Revit model, feel free to draw a section box here. And I can move this a little bit inside. It's going to also cut my linked Revit model. And you see that the radiator is over there. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.